delay between my videos and a lot of time lag but i will try to come up with more and more videos from today hey guys welcome to glamorostic my name is geeta and today i show you how to make these awesome kashmiri jhumkis these jhumkis are extremely chic and stylish and not like the traditional silk thread jhumkis that we often get to see in the market and these can be worn with both ethnic as well as western outfits like I just did. So let's not waste any time and jump into the video. To make this we will need six jhumka bases like this. I'm taking the smallest size. Three different colors of silk thread. I'm taking pink, yellow and green. A golden chain, preferably which has links like this. Four big golden beads and two small golden beads. The big ones look like this. And these are the small ones. Two earring hooks, two head pins, loads of small jump rings, six stone separators which look like this six golden gungroos a folder pliers scissors a long needle like this and fabric glue so now let's begin making these hangings first let's begin by wrapping our jhumka base with silk thread i have taken 10 strands of thread in this needle and applied glue to one end of it like this now i'll stick this inside the base of the jhumka and start wrapping it so i've applied the glue here i'm sticking the end one end here like this press and hold it for a couple of minutes to make sure that this is stuck and then once it is stuck let's start wrapping the silk thread around the jhumka base To make sure that the thread is wrapped evenly around the base, I'd first start wrapping the thread like this with some gaps and then start filling the gaps. Once the base is wrapped like this, we'll start filling these gaps. Once this is complete, apply some fabric glue and stick this silk thread inside. And let it dry for a couple of minutes before you snip off the extra thread. Similarly, I've also wrapped the other two jhumkas with yellow color and pink color threads. Now it is time for us to make the hangings. To make the hangings, let's take our golden chain and remove the hook that is there, this hook. And now let's cut the chain at our desired length 
and we'll need three different lengths. The first one is, has to be a little longer, the second one shorter than the first one and the third one furthermore short. So this is the length that I've chosen. So I would use the pliers and cut it. I cut the chain at three desired lengths like this. Now towards the end where we have a loop, let me give you a close shot. Let's insert a jump ring in this loop here. For that, let's take a jump ring and open this. This is how you open a jump ring. And now let's insert the ring in the chain and close it. We'll have to do it on both the ends of the chain. So I've inserted jump ring here on one end like this. And before I insert the jump ring to the other end, let me insert this golden separator. And then the jumka. Now, I'm going to pass the jump ring through the loop that I have on the golden chain. And put one gungru. You can choose to put one, two or three according to your wish. And now, I'm going to close this loop. Our first hanging of the jumka is ready like this. Let's repeat the process for all the other two chains. I've already put up one loop here at one end. I'm using a separator, passing it through the chain and then I pass the jumka through the chain take a jump ring open the ring pass it through the loop that we have insert a gungru and close the loop. Now we have the second one ready. Let's do the same thing for the third one. Now we have our three jumkas ready. Let's take the head pin and open the loop here. Pass the jump rings through the loop of all the hangings. and close the loop. Now, let's take the big golden beads that we have and pass them through the head pin. And now, the, small, the smaller bead that we have and make a loop with the remaining head pin. This is how it should look like. Now I'm taking the earring hook and I'd open the loop here slowly and pass this through this loop. And once that is done, close the loop. That's all, the hanging should look like this. Let's, in a similar fashion, we can make the other one. And here, I have already made it off the camera. So here's my second earring. So our Kashmiri Jumkis are ready. So it is that easy to make these awesome Kashmiri Jumkis. I'm in total love with them and I'm going to wear it very often. If you come up with your own variation,
variations of making these please do not forget to share your pictures on facebook using hashtag glamorastic and i'd love to see your creations don't forget that there is a giveaway i'm going to upload one video every day from today till 1st of january and the winners i'll choose two winners the winners would get fab bag of january edition 2017 and they will be sent to the winners by 15th or 20th of january as and when fab bag dispatches them i'm going to announce the winners on 2nd january if you want to know the rules as to how to participate in this giveaway please don't forget to check that description box below thank you so much for watching my video please hit that subscribe button for more updates and more creative stuff also give my video a big thumbs up and share my video on your social media like facebook and instagram that's it for today and until we meet in our next video, live glamorous thick.